hi in 28 minute welcome to this video where we would introduce to an awesome new course we have just released java to python in 100 easy steps in the developer survey you look at python is the number one skill you would like to acquire whether you're talking about big data analytics or you'd want to create a website or scrape a web page python is the number one skill and when you want to learn python most python courses start from zero they teach you what is a variable, what is a method, and things like that. As an experienced programmer yourself, you don't need to worry about all those basic concepts. And we have just built a solution perfectly tailored to all the experienced Java programmers out there. We call it the Java to Python in 100 steps. This will build on top of all the Java knowledge you have acquired during your career and teach you Python comparing python with java once you are introduced to the basic constructs in python we'll also teach you how to write pythonic code how to think in python and stop thinking in java we have an awesome github repository for this course and it contains all the java code we would be starting with so all the code you are seeing right now is the starting point for our course we will take each one of these examples and write comparable python code so we would start with the basics of Python. We write a hello world program. We look at methods. We would look at a lot of basic data types which are present in Python. The numeric data types, Boolean types, text. This section contains a lot of tips, exercises, and a lot of fun stuff. After that, we move into conditionals and loops before starting with object-oriented programming with Python. We will understand how to write great classes with Python as well as how do you create objects. The approach to object-oriented programming is a little different in Python compared to Java, but it's a lot of fun. We'll talk about inheritance, we'll talk about the absence of interfaces, we'll talk about abstract classes, and we will talk about a very important concept in Python called duck typing. After that, we would explore the different data structures in Python. Whatever we call collections in Java are data structures in Python. We would do lists, we would look at set, dictionary, and tuples. We would also do a lot of exercises with them. After that, we would look at important concepts related to exception handling, functional programming, and we would get a brief idea about some of the inbuilt Python modules before looking at a number of Python tips which would help you make the switch from Java to Python. As I said earlier, the way you would think in Python is a little different from how you would think in Java. And that's what all these tips would help you to do. Make that switch. In this course, we will be using Python 3, PyCharm. Any of the Java latest versions should be fine. And we would be using Eclipse Oxygen. As with all in 28 minute courses, we would love to provide you with an excellent learning experience. And our course guide of about 97 pages gives you all the things you would need to make the best use of this course. You can download this course guide inside the course. It contains how to install all the tools that are needed. It contains the link to the GitHub page, as well as it contains all the Python code that we would write during the course. We are about to touch 200,000 learners on Udemy and we welcome you into our community with open hands. Happy Pythoning.